Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of the Million Pound Mission Podcast. It's your buddy, Adam, the PhD, the previously heavy dude, and this is our quick tip Friday episode. No long intro, no theme music, no sponsors, all right? It's just me and you. We're sitting here talking about episode number 127, the recommendations for using a journal. All right, so let's define this a little bit first. I'm not talking about like a a Dear Diary journal, like, Dear Diary, today I deadlifted and it was special. Uh, (laughs) That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like a game plan, like being strategic, setting goals, mapping out a plan around those goals, and then taking daily action towards that goal. So I've used a variety of different journals The one I'm using right now, this is my top recommendation, is the Best Self Journal. Bestself.co.co is their website. They're not a sponsor. And I'll tell you what, (laughs) uh, I may kick myself in the butt for doing this, but I I reached out to them. I've reached out to them four times via email, via social, and I'm getting crickets back. And I'm not even asking for sponsorship. I'm I'm like, hey, I love your journal. I'm going to podcast about it. I would love to do a giveaway. I would love to give away a few free copies. And not only did they not email me back or message me back and just say no, they're just not not even messaging me back. So that always sucks. Uh, so uh, I love the journal. I don't love the uh, the customer service interaction. Uh, it seems like a really well run company, but I digress. Let's talk about this journal because it is. I, I do recommend. It. I do think you should give it a, a good hard look. I wish that I could have done a giveaway for you guys with this episode, uh, but that's not going to happen right now. Uh, maybe, maybe by the time this episode gets out, they'll get back to me. Who knows? Who knows? And if they do, I will give away some free journals, but the best self journal, I like it because I actually, I got a free one. That's how I was exposed to it. You know, lucky me. And I got it at the summit of greatness, uh, the event that Lewis house puts on and it's a quarterly journal. So it's a nine, it's a 13 week journal And I love it because you set a series of goals that you want to achieve in that 90 day period. And you kind of walk, walk it back to uh, bring it home into action steps. And then each week you review those goals. You have daily habits that you get to implement. I mean, it's very layered. It's very structured. Uh, Each day then uh, I sit down at the end of the day and I use this journal to map out my next day. I've got a loose idea of what my calendar looks like, but I write it in there and I try to fill up all the white space. So even if it's, you know, I'm working, I'm doing training sessions with clients, I'm recording podcasts, uh, even when I am meal prepping, eating, working out, uh, you know, sleeping, napping, all that stuff, stretching, all, all that stuff is documented in my journal. And then I've got some things like, what am I grateful for in the morning? That's all built in. Uh, those questions are asked. What am I grateful for at the end of the day? What are my wins of the day? What lessons did I learn? Did I, you get to check off those habits that you set for yourself to achieve every day? So it's really, really good. It's my favorite journal. I've used a lot of different journals uh, in the past, and this is the one that I'm really vibing with. I really, really like it. Uh, so in general, uh, I recommend using a journal. I, I think it's a good idea to get your thoughts down on paper to have a game plan, to have some structure, to have some goals and be accountable to those goals. And that's, that's really what I get most out of the journal is I write my goals down. I have a plan in place for those goals. And then I'm accountable to executing that on that plan. If, if I don't, if I have a habit that I want to achieve every single day and I don't do it. So for me, my usual habits are, uh, exercise, meditate, um, read, and then I've usually got a couple of business ones. So if I don't meditate that day, I don't check it off. I'm accountable to that. And I feel that I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I didn't meditate today. It's at the end of the day. Sometimes I'm just like, I'm not going to do it. Uh, my mind's not in it. So I'm not going to do it. And I don't check it off. And I set goals for how many checks I, I get each week. So, uh, it's a very effective system. I really like it. I recommend that you check it out, but either way, uh, another journal I've used in the past, the five minute journal. I like it. It's not as in depth. So if that sounds really intense, then maybe take a baby step back to doing a five minute journal where all the goal setting mapping out for the quarter isn't there. It's just a daily practice of gratitude and celebrating the wins. And that's, that's important too. All right. Bonus uh, tip. I just thought of there's an app out there called win streak, uh, very similar, 
concept of celebrating wins each day. And then you go on a streak of celebrating your wins and it builds momentum and it kind of rewards you. It's a free app. So check that out as well. Uh, it's called win streak. Uh, so those are the tips for today. Uh, check out that journal. I'll put a link to bestself.co and the, uh, the five minute journal website as well. Um, and that should get you started and, but just explore the journal situation. See if that helps, especially if you are kind of scattershot with your ideas around nutrition and fitness and goal setting, but not goal achieving and not really getting any traction. A journal might be that, that central hub that puts everything in place for you. And that way you can execute and actually make some progress in the right direction. So check it out. Uh, that's how we get out there and own it every meal, every workout, every day. I will see you on the next episode.